Okay, hello, I'm Liang J. Back to the next rotation video. So the first video we talk about what? We talk about how to use a compass, which is like the official way in your textbook, right? On how to get your 90 degree rotation point. Unlike 180 is one of the like the easiest rotation, you know? So back to our second video. So we will be using the legendary way of doing your rotation points okay so there is two two tools right okay so one of it is like the plastic 90 degree at the sharp edge and can you see that uh, so that's one of the legendary tool lah, okay to get your 90 degree rotation point so another one it's somehow one of the free ruler that you get in your geometry set the looks like a gun and okay used to use like a gun to pyang pyang Okay, back then you might form two, okay? A bit childish lah. Huh? Okay, so by the way, just to make sure you know, uh, what is this? This is a protractor, okay? some Somehow, like, students tend to, like, different... I'll say they don't know how to differentiate, you know? So that's a protractor, okay? This one is a protractor. And this is a compass. So today, we are not using compass because on the previous video, we talked about how to use compass to get your 90 degree rotation. And remember this, 180 degree is the easiest rotation okay but keep this in mind okay the legendary way gonna start now okay so anyhow i'm gonna say this thing one more time as you, as you can see already liquid like the whole thing right so i'm gonna put it over here one more time rotation when you connect all the all the what all the relevant points like okay maybe a better word lah corresponding points a to a prime b to b prime and same applies to the next one over here so these two parts over here, right, is two is like two different rotation, you know. So anyhow, I'm, I'm gonna write this word first, okay? Intersection. Okay, so whenever you connect all the relevant points, or maybe you, I can say the corresponding points, right? Okay, so that's when, uh, that's when you get the what? You get the intersection, ah. Uh, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna connect one more time, like the previous video I I tried before lah. so a to a prime b to b prime and as you can see c to c prime sorry then you have your uh, d to d prime prime okay so next you have your the other side the green color version your y to y prime your x to x prime so your z to z prime okay so everything is there already of course as you can see the object image everything already stated for you nicely lah huh? okay so 180 a quick one everybody knows it you are not using any tool ruler or compass to get your answer so basically by connecting them you really get your answer so what are the three points that helps you in getting your full descriptions okay so the three points so i really liquid it i'll just write it one more time so the three main points okay the three important main points uh, okay for you to complete one rotation description is number one your d what is d your direction yeah then the second one you have your angle and the third one you have your rotation point or maybe some some of you might say teacher can i name it as like center of rotation yeah it's up to you so we have this initial of dar i've been using this uh, initial of D-A-R, so D-A-R. So, what you do is, whenever you differentiate it, right, the first thing you do is, you're gonna write your angle first because by referring to these two things, okay, and make sure you watch the previous video, that will be like, whoa, the, the what's it called? The essence to it, okay? This one is like the second version of it, so I might miss out a certain thing, so go back to the previous video. Now, so you look at this. Yes, there is an intersection, okay? See, look at the intersection. There... Your D to D prime and your A to A prime, that's the intersection here. And then there's this, whoa, a tiny intersection here, right? So there's two intersections where when you compare to the green color version of your transformation, number one, why we know this is rotation? Because of intersection, right? And how do we differentiate whether it belongs to 90 or 180? I already said on the previous video. So when the intersection is kind of like messed up, messy version one, confirm that's 90 okay so this one is like the tidy version tidy as in what tidy as in oops okay tidy as in what tidy as in all your corresponding points when you connect them right they intersect at this one specific point 
that's called the tidy version of intersection so that will be 180 degrees so you know how to differentiate already so next thing will be you're gonna describe the whole thing you know so to describe the whole thing what are you gonna do so you come over here so I'm gonna write all the initials down here so your number one number two number three and like what I mentioned just now I said that your D A R right your D A R right what's the first thing you always go for your angle first because by connecting the corresponding points, uh, you really can decide based on the messy version and the tidy version. So this one confirmed 90 already. So can you see that? And just now I did say it, like the starting of the, uh, the, the, the video, right? I said, hey, the one which is the easiest one is 180 crying out. So you can, you can write everything really basically. But the thing it's your, <laughs> the main point comes in everywhere, everyone. The legendary way, the ruler way, it's here now. So to get your 90 degree rotation point, I'm gonna make it bigger and show you these specific methods on how to get the answer. Okay, let's see. So what I'm gonna show you is look at the ruler here. So some of you might say, teacher, if I'm using another one, can I? Can. Okay, but I'll be using this lah. Okay, so um over here right there is a few things that i want to emphasize to you number one make sure like the side of it the corner okay or maybe i see the collock tau uh, here is like sharp edge and okay 90 degrees it shows so don't use those kind of like already pata one or maybe like a bit curvy one. don't do that huh? so 90 degree will be like easier for you to get the answer lah. or maybe if let's say you are using this kind of like piang piang version one right uh, then you're going to use like the the the, the p here lah, huh? the 90 degree okay so back to this so the condition will be number one i said you need to have like sharp edge and the second thing will be we're gonna find one set of corresponding point where's that one set of corresponding point so you might say teacher a a prime can uh? can teacher can i use dd primer can so among the four lines right you can select any one so let's say i would like to use dd prime okay dd prime so over here, your DD prime, right? So later, your D will be your object, lah. Your D prime will be your image, and these two points must, I emphasize, must touch the two sides, two sides of your ruler. Or maybe some of you might say these two sides, same thing, and uh, can you see I touch these two sides here? Is either these two sides or these two sides? It must touch, and the third thing will be it must be same length. But how do you determine same length? In a while when I show you, I'm gonna show you how to determine it. Okay, there is a few things lah. So I'm gonna try it on DD prime. And of course, I would say something like, you're gonna be careful because I used to don't understand it until, until when I reach form five, when I rediscover this method again, it's like, whoa, legendary man. Okay, so let's start. So DD prime. So um, I'm gonna place my ruler now. Okay, and I said that this is the 90 degree sharp edge and this point gonna be your rotation point. Now, so the first thing is when I play it, place it this way, this line and this line, it must touch D and D prime, right? So I move it down and shake a bit, shake a bit and make sure it touch and whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you see I have number one, your D, it's on this line, your ruler's line and your D prime, there you see, the D prime is here, right? Uh, the D prime. Okay, so I put it over here, it's like, whoa, it's on this line, right? These two lines, and there's a 90 degree, okay, and this point, the rotation point, and then it shows same length. Or maybe some of you might notice, hey, teacher, I see this right angle triangle, which is like same shape one. Yes, you're right. So that's how we determine it. So you get one point here already. But let me tell you something, back to my form two, right? I have this problem, you know. I wanted to ask my teacher, but my teacher somehow just turned out, okay, because it's kind of like rush or so, so my teacher said, oh, impossible to the other to be the other one really, and this one is sure the answer. So my concern last time during form two, right, is like, hey teacher, why not uh, the ruler, I put it this way. If I put it this way and I push, right, hey teacher, I get the same characteristic like what you mentioned, you know. So I noticed that teacher, the D is also on the line. The D prime is also on the line. And it hits this point here, and it's 90 degree. So why can't I use this? Okay, this point. So my teacher said, of course cannot lie. You look at it also, you don't know. Uh, I mean, it's in, you look at it also, impossible ma. So 
I just don't know lah, last time I'm a bit noob noob like this, you know. So, somehow when I come to Form 5, right, I discover something. I discover that, okay, let's say lah, these two points, I don't know which one is the correct one. So what I do, I test it out again. I test using another set of lines. So let's say I test using AA prime. Now you see, hey, put the ruler and move. Make sure these two lines falls on your AA prime. So you see, I test using AA prime. No, so I move, move, move. Pop. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, uh, see or not? You see this? Ninety degree. It falls on one dot. Hey, it's the same rotation point like just now. DD prime. And then A is on this line. A prime is on this line, and it shows the same right angle triangle. Can you see that? So I use my pencil and show you, you see? So can you see this right angle triangle? It's like, here. Now, two unit by one unit right angle triangle. Full of ma, this also. One by two right angle triangle. Fantastic, I get the same thing. So student might say, why not put the other side? Okay, everybody, let me tell you, I already double, triple confirm it. So when you put it this way, yes, you get, you get the same characteristic, you see that? Ah, uh, you see AA prime? You see it's on the line, right? On the line. And there's another point here, but impossible already because by testing your DD prime and your AA prime, you already confirm your answer is this. Okay, so that's why this is your rotation point. By using the legendary way of ruler, right? So that's how you get your rotation point. So let me make it smaller now. Move back to this part. Oops. Okay, dirty already, son. Okay, so you know the rotation point will be this point. Ah. So you put the X coordinate below then the Y by the side. Now after that, over here, you are pointing this way, right? So I just use a pencil and draw the arrows. So this one is like point this way, this one point this way. So you gotta turn like this, right? Not? So you're gonna use clockwise to complete the whole thing. So this is how I get my 90 degree rotation by using the ruler way. So if let's say you find this method helpful, right? Please comment in the section below, right? So I can assess and see whether the compass way is actually a better way for you or maybe this uh, ruler the legendary ruler way it's actually better so just comment and let me know but of course one very important thing some student manage to get the answer just by placing the ruler one time like this but what i do here is i'm trying to help out students where you don't know why you're gonna put it this way why not the other way uh, so that's why you have to test like two, three times so that you get uh, like a confirmed answer. So that's how I determine it. So everybody, that's all. Bye.